All right, today we are making this little bowl out of a super dry piece of elm. And you can see I've got kind of a roundish, almost calabash type shape to it. It is about four and a half, five inches across and about two and a half inches deep. So, deep! <coughs> so, if you want to watch me uh, turn this bowl, stick around. Okay, the making of this bowl uh, it took me about 45 minutes or so. Uh, this is going to be a long format video. I'm going to show almost every cut. So if you want to skip past it or wait, I'm going to also make a shortcut. A short version of this where I show the cut and speed it up. Um, but this is kind of more instructional video. It's going to be longer format. All right, today we're going to make a quick little bowl out of this piece of elm. I roughed it out years ago, 10 years ago or something. Maybe I thought it was too small. Set it aside so I know it's dry. It's only five-ish across and about three deep. So, let's get it started. Okay, we're going to just bring this tool up. Oop, I've got to move that. I've got a cutting on about center. I'm going to take my, my tool and go 45. 45, 45, the Bill Grumbine cut, and just come across. There's a thousand RPM. A pretty good cut and I got almost round first time so now let's straighten this out and get your tan in and then we got a little bit more to do right here Alright, so I just checked that's the size of my tenon. So, I'm gonna be a little bit smaller. And I've seen turners make extremely shallow tenons, but I need it deeper than that. I don't even have flat yet. A little bit deeper. That's about an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. I'll go about an eighth. That would probably work, but we'll just give it a try a little deeper. I don't really want a flat bottom bowl, and I don't want one straight up either. But I'm kind of up here now on a sheer cut. And trying to get it as good as I can.
transferred right to the tip when I was over here. Oh, still got some more to do. Never mind. Not quite there. This corner is way too square. That is a really good cut for just coming off kind of a dull tool. So I'm going to sharpen the tool, get rid of this little bump, and I don't know, maybe we'll bring this in to be a little bit of an OG. Alright, with a nice clean new edge. Nice cut. One little bump. Alright, that was kind of cool.
Well, that grain is pretty cool. There's some spalting in it. Nice little round. It's going to look like a little honey pot, kind of an OG shape. Sanding it up to 400. Flip it around, hollow it out. There, I got another crown tool. We're cutting right on center. We come back here like this. I hate doing that. I always get that in the way. It's more convenient yet, it's always in the way. Oh! Hey! Take that out of your chest. The knockout bar. We're not quite there yet, but leave it a... No, we don't need to leave a natural edge. Except I just winged in. So we gotta move. All right, we'll try and film it from over here. I might be in the way anyway. All right, we're getting down to it. I got most of it hollowed with my bottom feeder, and now I've got a three-quarter inch M2 HSS steel. And I'm just gently scraping to get the final little ridges out. And it's scraping really well. There's no tear out at all, so I'm happy about that. I can't really film it without being in the way, but it's what I'm doing. Yeah, see? 
He's putting it in there. Put a little bit of a down angle, right on center, going back and forth. Yeah, I don't dare do it without holding on to it and whatnot. So that's how we're finishing it, is just gentle scrapes. All right, I've got a nice little shape to it. It feels pretty good. It feels a little rough, but that's because you sand out between the grains, basically. Um, the soft grain sands out a little bit more than the um, other grain, because this is really a, a wide-grained kind of a bowl. I don't know if it's easier to see with, without that light on. But we're going to remount it and take the tenon off. Alright, so in order to do that, I'm going to... I put this block on, I'm going to square it up and make sure it's round. And then bring the tailstock back up. Finish this off, cup this out, sand the bottom, leave a tiny little nib, and then we'll cut that off by hand. Um, I'll also put some brown towels or something in here to cushion it. So, this is quick and easy though. This is quick and easy. Okay, we put it back on there. I actually put a little 800 sanding pad underneath there. But now I need to just bring this off and bring it in. I sanded it all the way, and then I got my super thin parting tool and came in and took off. Yeah, so there I, I took my parting tool and came in here and took off what looks like 90% of the nib. Now I'm just going to just trim that with a chisel, skew chisel. So the way I do this with my helper. Get my hands out of the way. Just gently wiggle this along. Well, hello, kitty kitty Jojo. How are you today? Hello, kitty kitty Jojo. Hello, kitty kitty Jojo. Glad you came to play in the shop today. So we've got to get this done. All right, well, that's the bowl. Uh, that's the shape. That's what I did to the bottom. So now let's put some Mahoney's walnut oil on it. 
Okay. Here we go. Cat! <laughs> well, the cat just moved the camera. Guess that's what you get for being a cat. No, 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 cat, come on. <laughs> it's cold out here. I guess because it's the last day of 2021. It's New Year's Eve. A fun New Year's Eve afternoon activity, doesn't it? Golly, wow. The Spaltarama. All right, well, there you have it. That's the bowl we're making today. So if you're interested in watching me. Take this from a really dry piece of wood and turn this little calabash shape almost bowl. Uh, stick around.